Seeing at 6.30, I'm going to open up the Hadley Conservation Commission meeting for April 12th, Tuesday. First on the agenda is a request for determination of applicability. 87 Hockenham Road, proposed footprint for a new single-family home, garage, septic system, and removal of an existing cabin and shed in the 100-foot buffer zone and riverfront area. Site visit was conducted on 322 by Shyla, who met with Bob Stover, who delineated the wetlands on the property. And then who is here for this proposal tonight? Hi, I'm okay. Bob Stover. Hi, Bob. Hi. Okay. Uh, I've done a little bit of work on this, so I'm going to have to accuse myself on this one. Okay. Because of the septic system and stuff. But you can also, but you can give us, I mean, you can I was involved in the testing. Okay. But you know the site. Well. I know, I know, yeah. Okay. Really? So, Thank you. Thank I, you. I would say you probably can comment as long as it's positive or whatever and scan both. Yeah, I always say that. Whatever you need to know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, Bob. Okay. So, uh, your summary expressed it pretty well. Uh, it's uh, down there just before the uh, marina and uh, uh, on do, the right. Do we have a site plan? Oh. Yes. Yeah. It should be in the package that I handed you, but here's I'm sorry, copy. I didn't, I didn't That's know. That's okay. There's another one. My bad. Okay. This is a septic plan prepared by Paul Steisbeck. On the, on the front, the cover sheet. What's, what's next to it? The, the cover sheet? Yep. Cover sheet, we show it? Okay. Good morning. Okay. So it's across from the river. It's, it's on the upland? Uh, no, it's it's on the same side of uh, Hocknum that the river is. Okay. I, okay, I, I can't see the road on this picture. Okay. So that would be Jones and Proud. Okay, go ahead. You, you so delineated has, the wetland. Yeah. Uh, there's some language in the uh, Wetlands Protection Act or the guidance somewhere that talks about a clear and abrupt edge of a wetland, and that's what these are. Um, there's two streams that kind of flow down uh, either side of the, uh, of the building area, and... Uh, uh, the troughs of these intermittent streams have some wetland vegetation in them, and uh, but the banks rise up abruptly, and you can see where the the wetland ends and the the bank goes up to the uh, higher ground. Mm -hmm. So, how much work is proposed within the hundred foot buffer zone of the wetlands? So, uh, Paul has the uh, the fifty foot. Uh, Buffer line shown on the plan. Okay, I see that. So it's 50 foot, 50 foot. See that's the in there. Yep. Okay, so it fits in there. What about grading between the 50, the zero and the 50 foot from the wetlands, the stream itself? We have grade changes proposed. Uh, no, no. The only uh, grade changes are around the house and the septic. So all the work, excavation, and regrading will be. Outside the 50 foot buffer zone? That's true. Okay. I don't think we have a problem with that. Each field's on the front. We should garage. The roadway shown on the plan exists and served that uh, dilapidated cabin in the rear. That it's going to be removed? I don't know. Uh, oh. I, but I presume so. It's definitely hazardous. And, yeah. yeah. Well, they show the existing driveway path. Is that paved? Is it gravel? Is it? It's a solid gravel surface. Solid gravel. But they're not proposing to do anything with that at this time? Uh, correct. They would have to come back to us for that? 
Yes. Because that's all in the buffer zone. Yes. Some of it's very close. Because what I don't see here, we see future garage, reach field, proposed house. But how are they, where's the driveway coming into the house? Do they have a garage or where are they going to park their vehicles? Uh, I've been told they're just going to park right there at the house. That they, Well, I guess they've got the future garage up near the road, mm -hmm. in the flat spot uh, near the road. But the, uh, we need to see that in the plans. How they're going to, where they're going to park. Okay, uh, what uh, what should be shown? Where the driveway is going to be. See where it says future driveway? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, how, Ray, what, what can you say about it? You've been down this existing path? Yes. Yeah. How can they park there? Do you, I haven't it's, seen the site. I it's have, uh, when, when you when you drive into the uh, into the site, it's it's pretty it's pretty much flat on the level, up above, but then it dives off down down the bottom. Um, this is it's it's two lots before uh, the old Shipman property on the right hand side as you're going out. Okay. And it's a it, it's a little there's a little dilapidated shack like he was saying a little house way down the bottom of it down the hill. It's been I think it's been abandoned for for a while now. It's on the, the it's on the, the right side. Okay, the right hand side. Yeah. Heading towards South Hatton. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one Kenny Needwood used to have. This is before Kenny Needwood's going south. Kenny would be over here. Okay. Then you have the other place and you have shipping. Okay. Yeah, ship is like Kenny Nidwick lives here, then they built that house. Yes. And then the ship is. So this is right before. Okay, if you look right. down, I remember seeing the shed and cabin way down here. Yeah. When I was a kid, because I used to spend a lot of time with Ray down hawking on. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's where that is. Um, I mean, so so there's, there's it, it's flatter up on top than it is down below. They, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they didn't want to go down below. Uh, you know, for obvious reasons, with, with, you know, with the wetlands and everything like that down there. So. Right, this this set of plans shows the future driveway going into the future garage. Yeah. Then they're going to walk from the garage to the... To okay. the so we've got a different... Yeah. The second page, Okay. So I take it they're going to be parking where the future garage is going to go? Yes. Okay, I thought they were going to go down further and park over here by the house. Which would be a logical uh, presumption, but uh, they... It looks like it's, it's quite, a, quite a great difference. Yes. The walk it's up from there, where if they parked at the future garage, yeah, it's not that bad. Right. It's relatively flat up there by the road. How big is the uh, proposed house? It doesn't get the dimension. It just says proposed house and three bedrooms. Do we have any erosion controls proposed for this? Uh, Paul has a note uh, amongst his notes about erosion control. It's the one with the plan view on it. Um, the twenty. Oh, we can install sill fence around all down sill fence in these years to eliminate runoff for BBWs. Number sixteen. 
contractor. It's not. It's note number sixteen. Yeah, I found that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, what does the board think? I don't know what to say. It's the first I've seen it. So, I think that uh, it's going to be built by a reputable contractor. I I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I kind of think that. Um, being in the town of Hadley, you're going to be in a goldfish bowl. Yes. Everybody and your uncle is going to know what the hell you're doing. Uh huh. Excuse my English. Yeah. So, yeah, whatever is on this plan, you better do. Yeah. That's that's my opinion. Uh, I I don't think there's too many houses being built in town right now. I'm sorry, I don't hear too well. I'm, uh, I don't think there's too many houses being built in town. Is that now. right? I, I don't know. Yeah. I'm assuming. I work on a subdivision in Belchertown, and it amazes me how quickly the, uh, the houses are going up, and they're sold and occupied. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Well, what do you think, Chief? I don't have a problem with it at all. No? Should we make a, as, as one of the, one of the conditions that it be built within the footprint? Or yes. Okay. Any changes must be brought to us. what this is going to be. These determinations are heard. So this is, this is before Ray shipments? Yes. Okay. Two lots before. Okay. Yeah, I did. Two? Now I, now I can yeah. picture it. Yeah. And that is kind of a, and then it drops off steep. Yeah. Very steep. Yes, yeah. it does. It dives right off. Yeah. I mean, when you're sitting up on Hocken Road, <laughs> the, the existing building that's down there, it's got to be 30 feet below grade. Oh, I believe that. Yeah, it's all that. Yeah. I went out to the site visit, and the driveway's fairly steep. Yeah. But yeah, but where they, I mean, <laughs> where this is all happening, it's up on it's, it's mm -hmm. up on the high ground. Yeah. And the runoffs are on both sides, and there's yeah, there's brooks going around. Right. I, I don't. There's, well, there's like ravines where the, where the water comes off the mountain and goes down through mm -hmm. the road. together and I um, think I think he made like maybe one or two minor adjustments just to tidy something up um, since okay. it had been a little while um, we saw you know some some of the vegetation started to come back which was um, you know okay, helpful so <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I think I, that I believe this will fall into the category of negative determination for three <clears throat> this the work described in the request is within the buffer zone as defined the regulations, but will not alter an area subject to protection of the act, which is the wetlands. Therefore, said work does not require the following of notice of intent subject to the following conditions, if any. So, um, I'll at first ask for a motion to close the hearing. I so move. Second. See seconds. All those in favor, Steve? Aye. Edwin? Aye. You? Me? Aye. Yeah, here comes Gordon. And then it's 
two, we got three already, so we have yeah. a, we have a we have a quorum right now. We have okay. The rate of stand one abstention. Okay. All right. Oh, so any other any further discussion? No, I would the only like I said, I would just put it on that the house needs to be put in the proposed. So I'm going to propose footprint. I'll just need a motion in a second, but I'm going to I'll make the I'll, I'll make the proposal, and then somebody can mm -hmm. agree to the motion. I think it'd be easier that way than having them sign a word. A negative determination number three, the work described in the request is within the buffer zone as defined in the regulations, but will not alter any area subject to protection of the wetlands act. Therefore, said work does not require the filing of notice of intent subject to the following conditions. The conditions that would be, A, that we, uh, before any construction commences, that we are asked for a site visit, mm -hmm. showing all the erosion controls in place. Mm -hmm. That all the work is done outside the 50 foot buffer zone as shown on the plans. Mm -hmm. And that the house be built in the, in the footprint. And the house has to be built as proposed in the footprint shown on the plans. Right. And yeah. the alterations will require. You know, you can change it a little bit, but you know, if you go, oh, I'm not going to build here, I'm going to build way over there. The key thing is we want to keep anything within 35 feet, we really have to get tough on it. Yeah. You're right on the edge in one corner. Yeah, 50 foot, but it looks like it's well within, it's over 35 feet away. So do I have a motion for that? Yes, yeah, so move. A second? Second. Steve? All those in favor, Steve? No, aye. 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 Myself, aye. And one abstention. One abstention. And okay. we can note that for the minutes that uh, Gordon arrived. After the. After the. Discussion. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the gentleman paid all his fees that he was supposed to pay. Yep, I got the check. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay, you can come sit at the big table. Now. Okay, thank you. Yep. <laughs> well, no, we appreciate that you're. Uh, is there anything about this site that's, that's not going to work? I mean, that's why. You, no, I mean, I did the perk test it, way before the design. By, by, by the looks of this, it looks like the wetlands is very well defined. Mm -hmm. And this is quite a, you know, quite a gradient difference. Yes, well, that's yeah. way all of it's really really like That's on the ravines of the ravines. Yeah. I remember, I remember driving by you many years ago. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Can't sign it. You weren't here for that. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Do you have another blank one? Oh, yeah. No, I just got that one. <sighs> no, come on. Just give me a thing. I'll cross it out. Yeah, cross it out. Why No, just you know, give me a pen. Go and cross it. We don't need it. Just I'll cross it out. Let that, uh, way, that way I do it. Okay. Next up on the agenda is a notice of intent, 205 Bay Road, proposed single family home, septic system and driveway in a 100 foot buffer zone of a VBW, Board of Vegetative Wetlands. Site visit conducted by 330 by Charlotte and Edwin, who met with Adrian Dunk of GZA. Yes, good evening, Commission. I'm Adrian Dunk of GZA here on behalf of the applicant and owner, uh, Olivia you Driver. You don't abstain, right? You don't sign this. No, I can't. No. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Um, so the property in question is at 205 Bay Road. It's near the intersection of Bay Road and East Hadley Road. Um, and it's an approximately one acre parcel. Um, it's kind of an interesting shaped property, like a reverse flag or the frontage and the property is all up front and then it has a narrow dog leg going out towards Hearts Brook. Um, so I delineated bank and bordering vegetated wetland along the northern extent of the property. Um, and I also delineated a limited amount of riverfront area associated with Hearts Brook. 
the proposed work is the construction of a house and its opportunist features located in only the buffer zone. So we'll be entirely out of the riverfront area um, and we will be entirely out of the 35 foot no work zone. Um, so it will be, like we said, the house, the septic, the property is on town water, um, so no well, um, and the driveway. So mm -hmm. the site plan is included in that application, um, I believe as appendix B. Yep, will be a, an 11 by 17 color site plan. Okay. Yep. Is the owner of the property a, a West? I'm sorry, what? Is, is the, the owner of the property a West? Is she, is, that individual is really she surrounded is by not, cows. She is not a West. Um, they are, are, Arthur West is one of the abutters. Right, yeah. Um, that that entire property is completely surrounded by cows. It is. <laughs> They're gonna have a heck of a time growing a garden, or growing anything there without the cows eating, coming over and eating it. Yeah, so I, um, you know, we were not we were not asked to include a fence or anything, but I know she was going to speak with um, Arthur West about mm -hmm. the cows to you know keep him abreast of any development. Um, right. But I don't know the specifics of if he was going to change how he moves his cows or she was thinking something else. I'm not really mm -hmm. sure on those details. Mm -hmm. So this is very similar to the last one we just did. Everything is outside the uh, 35 foot zone, but in the 100 foot buffer zone, you outside right. the riverfront. What about grading within the uh, buffer zone? So there will be some grading within the buffer zone um, to support the house and the driveway. Um, there's not an intention. Of, you can see that it's fairly Pretty undulating deep. slopes. Yeah. Um, so there's not an intention to flatten the place, but the grading will be um, just that necessary to support the house and safe driveway. So we have erosion control going all the way around. Correct. Yes, yeah, so given that it slopes in both directions, we're proposing erosion control all the way around to be protective. Which is about 40 feet in the buffer zone, which I think is about five feet between the 35 foot and the erosion control, but we're not looking at So any of the work you're gonna do is outside the 35 foot zone for Correct. grading. It yeah. looks like there'll be minimal grading in the back corner. Correct, yep, I believe, you know, it makes more sense to keep the house kind of a, actually as close to Bay Road as, as zoning allows, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is that 50 foot setback. So that's where it's flattest. Um, so I think it, it it makes sense to put the house kind of as, as close as they can. Mm -hmm. There's your zoning setbacks. Is there, is there a proposed grading plan? In, there is not a proposed grading plan. Oh, okay. um, the, final, the final house design is not completed. It's a little, you know, chicken or egg. You design the house in the grading plan and they get it permitted or you get a permit and then design the details. So, mm -hmm. so um, what are they planning on doing this? I, I'm not sure on the exact dates. They, like I said, they're they're working on a design following this approval. Um, and everything I know from trying to hire an architect right now is it would be pretty difficult. Several months. So the question is, the board, do we want to see a final grade plan? I mean, obviously they're still working on the designs. We could continue this until they get that taken care of. I don't see a problem with building right now here. The way it's proposed. I think we would like to see a. Mm -hmm. was a, was, I mean, we didn't do, require that in the last one. There's not much there. Yeah, it's. I think that they. I think. The, I think they're two different sites. This is. Good luck building there. I wouldn't build there. I wouldn't build the barn there. Why? Because it's. It's very. It's the top of a knoll is about the only place you can build. It is completely surrounded. Those are cows. Eaten there. In back, there's the cows that are going to go walking across that. I don't care. I don't. I, we don't care about the cows. I, I care about the site itself. Yeah. Okay. Why is it difficult to build a house there? It, it's a it's a fairly steady slope going down, and there are some kind of knobby bits, <laughs> so to speak, up at the top where it um, undulates a little. But um, you said that they they weren't anticipating doing much grading for the driveway. Right. I mean, they're right. not anticipating a wholesale grading plan. There, there. Obviously, it'll be a grading plan. But um, 
they just you know, want to be able to put in a house and a driveway, have safe access. It does dip down from Bay Road, so you know they'd get their driveway up level with Bay Road, so you mm -hmm. can see and turn safely. Um, They're probably going to have a. I think it's going to be a basement, or it could be a walkout. It'll probably be a walkout, walkout, is what makes so sense. Look at here. the great difference over yeah. here. It yeah. would be almost appropriate for that corner to have a walkout. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which means they're not going to do much. Right, exactly. It makes more it sense to have a they're walkout. Just going to flatten it out down there a little bit. Right. Correct. So I think what the what the applicant would really like to, to do is is agree to this limit of work and, and permit the building envelope. You know, that this limit of work would not, you know, not be changed, not be adjusted. The house, the final house location may be moved marginally, um, but it, again, wouldn't go outside that limit of work. It wouldn't Where go outside, it is, the, it wouldn't go outside the footprint. Now, right. the other question would be, uh, Edwin knows the site better than I do, obviously don't bother. What work is proposed after the house is built between the wetlands and the 35 foot buffer zone? Are they going to be no. knowing that, seeding it? Are they going to leave it natural state? Leave it natural. Between the wetland line and the 35 foot no touch, they would leave it natural. Mm -hmm. And they would only maintain within that limit of work. So everything to do with the house, the lawn, Garden beds would be in that limit. Do we of have work. some way of delineating that? I suggested measuring off from the foundation of the house and putting up a marker. Very some. commonly, commissions ask us to put up some type of marker on Correct. either the wetland line or the no touch zone Correct. line. And so those markers, um, I've had commissions specify a fence, I've had them specify. Um, rebar posts that are put in or um, more bird creatively houses. bird feeders along mm -hmm. that line right. so that they're more aesthetically pleasing. Um, I, th the, I think the homeowner would be, or the property owner would be amenable to, to demarcating that line so that right. it stays natural next to the wetlands. Right, all, all we're asking is that you measure from the, uh, a, a set point. Well, that the foundation would, of right. the house is a set point. And once it's in, the chances of you moving in are pretty slim. So if you measure all out X amount of feet, that's the first post. X amount of feet, that's the second post. X amount mm -hmm. of feet, that's the third post, and that's it. That's all we're asking. Yeah, I think they would be amenable to putting in. Um, the other the other option we have is we could we could continue until next month, mm -hmm. with the understanding that we are fine with what we're seeing so far. If you could bring us further plans showing the house, the actual design, how they uh, delineate. delineate the 35 foot zone, birdhouses, fence, whatever they want to do. You talked about dimensions. Mm -hmm. What's the, how's the board feel? I mean, yeah, I think that's how, idea. how they obviously are still in the design. They're still in the early phases, so I don't think in a month they'll have a final plan. Um, we can continue another month after that until we get this, but I'm trying to be accommodating. No, no, like I, I appreciate bit, that. Like to see a little bit more. You'd like to see a little bit more? Okay. And probably I'd like to take take a trip out to the site. Mm -hmm. mm. I move we continue till May. May tenth is our next hearing. Do you okay. think that the if they don't, we can continue with it again? Right. Yeah. All we have to do is be notified. Mm -hmm. And then we have to open up the hearing again in May. That way, we don't have to re-advertise. Okay. But you put it into June. Okay. I mean, yeah, I think they, they don't want to keep. They, I don't you know. see a problem with the site. Okay. But you need more detail. I just like to see with more details what you can come up with for doing. Because I, I can see that, that all of a sudden mowing further out and further out, right? Oh, yeah. That's going to yeah. happen. I know it's going to happen. Not so much with the other site we just looked at because that's more woods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's the, the last site. And, Highland Road, Road you know, mm -hmm. that really drops off. It's pretty, yeah, busy. Yeah. No. Okay, so you'd like to see a plan for, for demarcating the 35 foot no touch zone? Um, yeah. Obviously, the they don't front. have a, a, the foundation idea, they don't have the foundation yet. Right. So yes, I know that. Either you, can, you can take off a building envelope, or probably the best thing to do is just show on the plan so many. We can absolutely show on the plan, show and the then plan. that would be right. They would have to build it to plan. They'd have to install those as part of the construction. Right. Um, it could be a combination of birdhouses and fencing. Even they they may want some fencing. Right. If those cows they are going to be so wonderful, <laughs> oh, they are. <laughs> <laughs> they got to watch out for that. Okay. So, is that mm -hmm. fair? 
Absolutely. Okay. For, for clarity, when you were talking about the limited work, were you referring to the uh, buffer zone or the zoning setback line on the plan? The limit of work is the black dashed line, oh, thank um, you. the long dash, short dash. So that's oh, the limit yeah, of work. Oh, it with the red one. So and then, <laughs> yes, it, yeah. You got the so, silk fence, so you got the... Okay. Right, there's the, the 35 foot, and then the limit of work, and then the silk fence would be inside the limit of work. Okay. Um, the red, red envelope is the zoning. Absolutely. So they're fairly limited in where that house can go anyway on the property. So that's kind of the true limit of work. Right. The true limit of work. Yeah. The, okay. the limit of construction um, of house is really um, defined by the. So we have on the table a motion by Edwin to continue mm -hmm. till May 10th. 10th? Yes. At 630. Do we have a second? Second. We'd like to get a second. Ray. Ray. Uh, any further discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone Aye. unanimous? Yeah. So we got uh, Steve, Gordon, mm. Ray, Ken with myself, five in favor. So we'll continue. We'll see if we can get some more details on that. Okay. And we'll move it along. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for your time, Adrian. Thank you. Bills, other business, invoice for MACC conference. You previously voted on this. I just need a signature for um, submitting it to the account to pay the invoice. Okay. Doesn't matter where I sign it? Uh, the top would be great. Right here? Yep. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> Do you want me to date it too, Sean? Uh, sure, that'd be great. Okay. Does any board members have a problem with this? Nope. Mm -hmm. Seven zero. Seven zero. We voted for that before, though, didn't we, Charlie? Yeah, that was that was voted on previously. I just was so waiting we, for them to send me the invoice. We did authorize these these expenditures. Mm -hmm. The total is three hundred forty-five dollars total. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it actually came under a little bit of what was budgeted. We've learned a lot. It was, it was really good. There's a great session on soils. <laughs> okay, updates. Nightly road construction. Something happened today because the machine moved. I was working on Zasky's land, which is across the street from the, and the machine moved, they went down there, they stayed and did something, and they came back and they were all done. I made a couple of site visits myself and taken pictures I don't have and detailed. I thought it looked pretty good both times I've been there. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Work began 324, site visit conducted 330 by Charlotte Edwin. Uh, I was just after that myself. Yep. Scott took me last week as well. Everything is in compliance with the plans and order conditions. Just continued contact updates from Scott McCarthy. So I think all is looking well. Mm -hmm. And did we say it was all done? Pretty much? I don't know if it's complete. I don't know. If I it's wanted to get done. there today, but I just you know, we should I do saw Scott today, and I asked him. He said it wasn't sure fine. Look at it. I thought I, I saw some. What I could do is I drove the cap. The cap is all wrong. Yeah, the cap is all wrong, and I don't know the bridge. It hasn't been repaved. Right. Or anything like that, it's probably not the season. But it looks like it's all... Yeah, there's nobody doing anything. anything. I don't know what they did with that little excavator that the was Do order conditions are your show. Okay, perfect, thank you. I don't know what they no, did. It looks, looks good. It okay. looks very good. Notice of work, UMass Amherst, file number 170-0266. So this is an um, order of conditions that was issued, I can't remember exactly the year, but <clears> it was an extended order of conditions where it was uh, for longer than three years that UMass mm -hmm. has a big agreement with us, the Headley Conservation Commission, to do certain kinds of work. There's different categories of work that they have to notify us, and some work they don't. Uh, some work might require other hearings. So these are the three that um, they've alerted me to, and I have some plans for the parking lot uh, pavement project that just were delivered this afternoon. So I have not even looked at these yet, if anyone wants to take a look at them. 
So do they need our approval to do this work, or are they just notify us? Uh, I think that they needed um, just to let us know that it was going on and if there were any major issues. I did talk to um, like, uh, Mickey Marcus from mm -hmm. Hustle BCA. He does uh, the wetland work for a lot of these projects. So the bridge maintenance, they're repainting and doing the deck replacement, but they're actually going to lift the deck um, of the bridge and move it off site uh, so that the, all the work that's being done will be out of the zone. So the only thing I see, you know, the Budfield stormwater basin, that's maintenance, this mm -hmm. is the bridge. The only thing I would be concerned more about looking at closer would be the paving of the gravel parking lot. These are the plans for that. But we haven't had a chance to look at that. No. So if you'd the, like to take those and review them. When are they planning on starting this? Um, the project is anticipated to begin on Monday, May 18th, 2022. Erosion and sediment control inspections will be conducted throughout construction. And reports will be provided as required to us. So May 18th is after our next meeting. Mm -hmm. It is. So we have time to look at those plans. Yep. So I think what we need, to, we don't have to vote on this basically, they're just right. notifying us. But we have time between now and the next meeting to take a look at those plans and see if we see anything that we don't like. Let mm -hmm. it know. Yep. But, um, you said Mickey Marcus with SWCA has been doing a lot of this work for them? Yeah, he's, he's the one who told me uh, initially that these were happening uh, to keep, you know, keep me posted. He knows what um, has to be done. He said that the parking lot one, that the wetlands weren't um, nearby, but you know, they, they weren't super um, large concerns. So they aren't doing any work within the buffer? I'm, I, I, I haven't read it enough okay. to know. Well, to say now, he knows what I's adopt and what T's across to yeah. get that done. We'll That's just the point is he's, he's a reputable yeah. wetland scientist. Yeah. We'll, take, we'll take a look at the plans in the meantime, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it may not even be close to wetlands. Yeah. Uh, Route 9 construction found a 170 dash we don't have, but wetland boundary walk with SWCA 322, ready to provide updates. Who's that? Um, well, no, I, I met with uh, representatives of uh, Baltazar uh, Construction and uh, SWCA. Uh, it was very, very preliminary. We, had, uh, re we uh, reviewed a set of plans for the uh, the wetlands uh, right just just right next door to uh, Four Seasons uh, mm -hmm. liquor mm -hmm. there and across the street. Um, everything was staked out. They, uh, the uh, woman uh, Meredith from uh, SWCA said she she had a little bit of more little more work to do just to identify a couple of uh, locations and um, and like I said it was very preliminary just rough stakes out right there we were trying to figure out the plans you know we we're basically reviewing the plans just across the street from Bo both from across yeah across, right across the street you know that culvert is yeah on both sides of, both ends of that culvert both on the inlet and the and outlet right. That's the culvert that on one side of Route 9 it's a ditch and on the other That's side of Route river. 9 it's a river. Yep. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Dawson, <laughs> Dawson's Creek. We know that well. Yes, we know that very okay. well. Okay, DEP pre-construction meeting 331. Gary to provide updates. Unfortunately, I was not able to make that meeting. I got tied up and I couldn't get there, so I have no updates to provide. Administrative approval given on 315 to begin tree clearing before erosion control in compliance with special condition number 31 of the order of conditions. Compliance monitor and other emergency contact will provide via email. Yep. So I'm sure they'll be back in touch with us more before. Yep. They also sent a the stormwater pollution prevention plan. It's like 450 pages. Um, <laughs> so if anyone wants to, no, someone to read this, so thank you. Good. <laughs> Let me know. Okay. Sign for Dawson Reserve. Sign picked up, looks great, Edwin has it. And we discussed potential installation of mid to late April, perhaps the 22nd Earth Day? Question mark. <laughs> Kessel Land Trust has been notified of the purchase and installation and will be writing a blog post slash newsletter article to commemorate the installation. Juni Eisman? of Kestrel Land Trust would like to attend the installation. So, um, this is the sign. Watch this, go to the picture camera. That's I'll, the I'll sign. I'll <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> See, and uh, I have a, a post, I have a site picked out that's gonna be close to the speed limit sign, because that's about the only place you can put it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's only going to be about four feet high off the ground. Something the bottom is going to be about four feet. The top is going to be five and a half. Something like nice, that. Nice. Yep. 
Yep. So, okay. Uh, depending on what time you wanted to do it, uh, Judy had sent me, or somebody had sent me Judy's schedule, um, asking yeah. when you, what time of the day. What time is good for her? Okay. Uh, I'm, so I'll, I'll let you know. Should I? <laughs> Should I? Do you want? Do you want to install it right then? Do you want me to go like the day before and put it in? I think she wanted to be there while it was happening. I think. What you could, what, what could also be done too, in anticipation, is put the posts in place, mm. and then just install. You know, use wags. And yeah. Tables. Stainless steel. Actually, put the sign on the post. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That would shorten up the ceremony. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay. So I'll I'll go down there. And me and my son will go down like Sunday morning or something. Put the posts in the ground. Make sure you put a facilitation fence around. Oh yeah. Hey Dale. Yeah, we will. We will. Yeah. I I I gonna use a PhD too. Okay. okay. So I'll let um I'll let you know what time works for Judy and then right let her know that you are. Yeah, ready. I was figuring on ten thirty, but okay. I was I just picked that up. Yeah, I can't remember off the top of my head her schedule, but I'll let you know. You're right. So okay. I'll call you tomorrow or yep yeah tomorrow. <laughs> Stop uh, and I'll send. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Okay. Well. <laughs> Well, getting up first thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, you'll tell me what you're doing when I call you. Stop yeah. and shop Plaza EV charges. Work appears to be done. Shower will stop by in early March and everything looks great. Documents to receive via email upon completion. Okay. You have the document. Those, yep. those are those things that are right in the front of the, the plaza? Yep. Yeah, okay. they, they put them in. Um, I actually went grocery shopping and I was like, oh, wait, <laughs> this yep. is the site. I should. <laughs> I took some photos and it's pretty good. Yep, <laughs> uh, they do. Well, that's the common thing. And we have minutes February 8th, February 22nd, and March 8th meeting minutes. Yep. Uh, do we want to make a motion to approve those? If anyone needs a copy, let me know. Mm, we're good. Do you have a motion? Yeah. For, for, for all three. Court made a motion? Court. And the second is? Yeah. Steve? For all, yeah. <laughs> for all three? All those in favor? All, all right. right. All right. Unanimous all five board members. Right. Okay. I'm not going to name off the list. Upcoming learning opportunities. Spring is bringing life back. Get out and enjoy. Take some time to go for a hike and listen for returning bikers birds and watch out when you're driving for common roadkill victims like skunks, squirrels, and possums. Mm -hmm. Right, squirrels are hot. Uh, MACC free lunch and learn. Assessing local level climate change impacts will be April 20th mm -hmm. from 12 noon to 1 p.m. And that's going to be? It's virtual. Virtual? Yep. Okay. And there's this thing on here. Oh, we got a question from the audience. Yes. And I would like to remind people that the uh, Climate Change Committee is having a Climate Awareness Day on Saturday, April 23rd. Okay. Yes, yeah, Earth Day is the 22nd. Earth Day is the 22nd. We picked the weekend. Right. So they can find it on Zoom. Google it for Happy Climate Day. Okay. Okay. Very good. People should register. Do we have any other business to discuss? Two people have told me um, that need some site visits, and I wrote down the notes. Um, I didn't know if anyone would want to, but one of them I can't attend based on the person's availability, so I need someone to volunteer. Um, and then I have a set site visit, so I have one scheduled for April 20th at 2 p.m., and that's at 32 Stockbridge Street. 2 p.m.? Mm -hmm. yeah, what was the number? 32 Stockbridge Street. It's actually just down the road from the culvert um, under Knightley Road. Okay. And the uh, property owner is having concerns with erosion of the bank on the back of their property, uh, especially concerns with being able to maintain the lawn safely uh, up to the edge of the property with the continued erosion from the stream. And they just were hoping we could take a look and let them know, um, I guess kind of what their options are. She she spoke with Carl's excavation. And they said that they they could do something for her, but they needed to. She needed to talk to us first. Well, there's a part of that, this perennial stream part of that. That's the area that's. Is that Jones? You just can't go in there and modify the bank. It's eroding without permits. Well, that that's why. So so Carl said you need to talk to the conservation commission. But um, if you know, let me know if. Well, let's take a look. I, I, I want I want to go see that one. Yep. So April twentieth. You're gonna need a ride. Yes. Why don't you cut? We'll get touched before him. Okay. I'd like to go out and see that myself. Okay, we'll sounds good. I would appreciate I'll, that. I'll take you to that one. Yeah, and it's um, on the other side of the stream. Well, the stream itself and the other side of the stream is natural heritage land, 
and the other side of the stream is the uh, Zasky APR. Okay. Okay. Zasky farm. It could be a touchier. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, the other one is. Uh, so the other one is for number eight French Street. Um, some folks had applied for a deck permit two years ago, and they never got a determination. So I'm a. Or no, they did. They, they sorry. They got an approval for it, but it was two years ago. So I'm assuming that that is no longer valid. Is that correct? Determination, I believe, are good for three. Okay. You have to check with the the the, the, the site. Yep. Okay. I'll double check on that. I, got, I, got, I know two for fact. I think three might. I I'd have to. I'd yep. have to look. I don't okay. know. Okay. I'm, I'm double checking. I put out some feelers. Um, we, can, we can. We also, also want to. Um, oh goodness. Um, they wanted to put something else on the property, and I'm blanking right now. I'm sorry, but they they wanted to do some more work. So um, they so they wanted to above and beyond. It was, it's just so it's not just a continuation of the determination. They want something else. So yeah, they, they're questioning about the determination if it's still valid for the deck, and then they wanted to. I think they oh they wanted to reconstruct a barn, uh, but they are in Riverfront. You know, we all know French Street is right along mm -hmm. that river there. Um, so they would need to file a notice of intent, I'm pretty sure, if they wanted to do that. When, when, was this, when did they want to do the site visit? Uh, they said that they were free on Monday, uh, April 18th, any time of day, and then the rest of the week after 5 p.m. But I'm not available any of those times. So I figured I'd ask y'all. Yeah, we do look at it. Okay, do we have a contact for them? Um, I have the email address, so I can... No phone number? I think I do. I, just, I think he signed off with his email and phone number. Um, so I can forward you the information, just so that you are up to date on the conversation. So what I'm thinking and of doing is... Uh, doing them both at once? No, I can't. Well, I can't. Mm. The, the, the 18th is what... You said what time for the 18th? He said any time on the 18th. So I'm assuming within normal business hours, probably Anytime. between 8 and 5. And then after that, it's going to be up to 5 p.m. With yep. the 20th, it's 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. So it's three hours. They won't be there for three hours till 5. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did you say, Jake? 18th is a holiday. Oh, is it? Oh, is that? Thank you. It's oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. That's next Monday. So why don't you give me the information so I can get a hold of them? Mm -hmm. Probably what I could do is I go out Monday the April 18th. And maybe I can snag Steve in the way. Yeah, they gotta go right by your place. Might as well. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. um, and then I know that we had agreed to wait on um, any further planning on the neighboring property there. So I don't know if we want to readdress that another time this spring. We're talking about Boys for, for number six. Boys Yeah. So this is right next door. Yeah, I wasn't sure um, if there was anything now that it's springtime that we should be considering. Okay. Well, we can always. Stop in and check with Joe. Same time. Okay. He's around. Okay. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate uh, Thank you. your that help with site visits. That will be a week from yesterday. It will be next uh, Monday. Um, one other thing okay. that's potentially coming up. I don't know if any of you had heard about the proposed car wash <coughs> on Route 9. Hmm? If anyone had heard about the proposed car wash on Route 9. Yeah, all the way up for yes. Yep, so they, they've gotten in touch with me. They've asked about proper procedures. Um, I told them they should probably hire a specialist because the wetlands on the property, and they sent me some very, very preliminary draft plans. That's going to um, require a notice of intent. Yeah, yeah so, so that's going to be coming down the pipeline. Yeah, I'm not sure when, but they, they're finally in touch, and they seem it's to be taking tight, it seriously. It's a very tight I know the planning board was concerned about the queue of cars extending in onto Route 9. Yeah, well, into they're it. in touch with the other departments, too, yeah. um, building right. planning. Okay. Well, was the town was the was the Mass DOT having a on-site visit this morning? With the town on, they were in. Uh, there was a bunch of yellow sweaters on outside of the Hampshire Mall. I don't know. Okay. There's probably going to be a lot of meetings getting the design construction. Yeah, there's going to be. Yes, there's going to be some meetings. Going. Any other business? Okay, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I move we adjourn. Second. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye